so friends now it's a time to start working with the actual hardware that is arduino uno i hope you all are having the arduino uno with you with appropriate usb cable now before you connect the arduino uno please check the appropriate names written on the arduino uno that is one of the identification of the board so for that you just check it arduino and the uno here it is also mentioned that made in italy this board is an original board designed by arduino that's why it is written Ar made in italy we are not here right to discuss anything about the original board or the clone board now apart from this you can see the microcontroller chip is also given here this is the crystal part of this arduino board these are the two power sources for this arduino board this is using the usb cable and this is using some third party adapter or external adapter remember that when you connect the usb port the power will be given to this arduino board from that usb port itself there is no need to connect any external adapter at this place this place is only used to provide the power when you are not connecting the usb cable now after this you can see one particular switch which is reset switch along with this we have some of the led not, uh, indications one of the biggest notification of this arduino board is this on led you can see here it is written on and it is having the led when you connect the cable this on led will glow at the same time we are having few more leds one is rx another is tx and the third one is the l this rx and tx leds are used at the time when you are transferring the data between the arduino uno and the laptop this l led is nothing but connected with the pin number 13 which is again an built in led for this particular board again let me recall the leds first one is the on led which is given here others are rx tx and l you know that we have written a code where we have mentioned the particular L LED or you can say built in LED. That built in LED is nothing but L LED and it is connected with the 13 number pin that is 1 3 pin of uh, Arduino Uno board. Now let's give the power to this Arduino Uno board. When I connect one of the end of this USB cable with the laptop and another end with the Arduino board, it gives some sort of indication you can see that there are two leds are uh, glow one is the on led another one is the l led this on led is continue while the l led is blinking and as you know that l led is having as you know we have written a code where we have mentioned that built-in led that built-in led is this one now recall the code in that code we have mentioned that very very first sentence of the code is like a digital write built-in led high next one is the delay 1000 then digital write inbuilt led low and delay 1000 so it is nothing but we are giving some sort of signal to this built-in led with the delay of one second the very first sentence gives the high voltage then it waits for one second then it gives the low voltage then again it waits for the one second but as it is written in the loop function it is continuously executing there is no delay there is nothing like that now if you are having some sort of led external led look at this led if you are having this led you can also connect this led with your arduino now remember the fundamental of electronics when you want to uh, connect the led you need to connect one end of the led with the positive and the another end with the negative voltages so now when you connect this with your particular arduino then first check that where is the 13 number pin the 13 number pin is over here so the longest cable or longest end of this led must connect or must go into the 13 number pin and the other one goes into the ground pin as soon as the connection is 
established and connection is proper, the LED will work like an inbuilt LED. So friends, now again, make sure, see I am removing this LED. Again friends, make sure that you are working with the Arduino Uno. You have written the proper syntax, you have selected the appropriate board from your Arduino IDE and you have selected the proper port. Then and then you can able to upload your code onto the Arduino board and then and then this LED will blink. Otherwise, it may give you some sort of error. More on the Arduino, we will see in some of the next or coming section or coming lectures.